are the, these are the dog ones, these are the cool ones, and these are the ones that have, kind of have something to say, but these are not, these don't. And so this stack, far out lays on this stack, however I didn't get all of them. So, yeah, the majority of the people that probably do it are the kids. Like yeah. put something on them. Different view of the universe from optical telescopes. They allow us to see different aspects of objects and different types of objects. These differences allow astronomers to view beyond the obscuring clouds within the Milky Way and to be able to discern gas and dust emissions from deep space. Studying this primordial gas and dust helps astronomers to understand the origin of more solid objects, revealing the beginnings and evolution of the universe. As radio waves travel from their source, they spread out and get weaker and weaker. By the time they penetrate the Earth's atmosphere, they're barely perceptible. That's why most radio telescopes are parabolic or dish-shaped. They gather up radio wave emissions and reflect them to a central antenna where they're concentrated. The weak current is then amplified so it's strong enough to measure and record. VLA radio telescopes are so large, about as big as a baseball diamond, in order to capture and reflect as much radio emission as possible. Besides capturing more light, a bigger telescope can also observe more detail and more accurately locate a radio wave emission source. Tell you what, this is one of the windiest places I've ever been. Now I'm going to turn the camera over to the left, and when I do, you're going to hear a lot of wind.